reason I don't want to go into academia is because probably a confidence issue. Be a bit too much stress, I suppose, and not the right skill set. I'm planning on going down the teaching route instead. Uh, I'd love to become a secondary school biology teacher, and I feel that this would lead to a more balanced home life. The realisation that I didn't want to talk about other people's science, I wanted to actually be creating science myself. I felt that it would give me the freedom to do something really new. It's just a brilliant career in order just to be able to do what you want and have the freedom to carry out research. I trained as an ecologist, so I knew I wanted to do a PhD um, because I enjoy science. So I'm not particularly um, insistent on staying in academia or even the area of science I'm in, but I'd like to maintain the freedom to direct and choose the work that I do. I'd like to go on to do a postdoc after this. Look at starting at my own lab and carrying on um, in, in research or perhaps taking a sidestep into teaching. But realistically I just want to be involved in research. everyone is studying something different and no one has done what you have done before it's very hard to assess yourself. I worry that I'm not creative enough with my ideas. Making sure that we can get get it so that we yeah we get enough life alongside work so that I stay in science. Generally one always wonders whether one is good enough to be in the position you've been put in. I've been, I say that I've been lucky enough to end up in the position I'm in, but it has been a huge amount of hard work as well. Being worried that people don't take me seriously. The fear is that, that I, you know, I'm not good enough for, for the job that I'm in. As with many women, a probably lack of confidence. It can relate to a level of ambition, but also whether one can see role models at those more senior positions. It's that you're fighting against age-old prejudices that have existed for, for, for a long time. Overall, it probably has to do with support and role models. This is why the Athena Swan programme is such a fantastic thing, because I don't think anyone really knows why women leave science. I spoke with someone who was outside of our department, who was telling me how great it's been for her that her husband has become suddenly so much more aware of her career progression. Everyone is thinking about what they do before they do it. Communication has improved. Um, you know, the fact that you're sitting here making this video asking me these questions means that, that things have changed. It's always there now, which is great. Athena Swan means to me fairness and I don't think there's anyone in the world that would argue that being fair is a bad thing. People have been using Athena Swan in so many different ways, you know, that's not very Athena Swan, it's something I hear all the time. It's, uh, as a principle I see it as something that's rather than um, necessarily to do with sexism or um, gender so much as preconceptions of people. Well, I have a daughter and I have real hopes and aspirations that when she goes to university, if indeed she goes to university, that this, this won't be an issue and Athena Swan will no longer exist. Mm -hmm.